This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational cyberpunk video. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily get a new car by completing the quest Beat on the Brat the Glen. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're over here at this quest marker. I don't know why I'm showing you when it shows you, but we're doing the first one of these fighting matches. This one is Beat on the Brat the Glen, like I stated. Now, to do this, you basically just need to get the gorilla arms. They're going to let you do all of these fights way easier. Now, there's a bunch of ways to cheese this, but I'm going to show you how to do it legit with just cyberware. So you can do it without the jump legs, and I'll show you how in the video, but it's so much easier with the jump legs because you can just jump over his head and turn around and start beating on him. But these, these are a must because you can't use any weapons and you need to hit him and you need to hit him hard. Now, if you have a mod for this, that's even better, especially if you have the electric knuckles to do electric damage but they just come with this so i'm going to swap these over here to show you that you can do it with just the physical damage just as well this one stuns him a little bit which is kind of nice so if you have these use these but these will work as well you can buy these gorilla arms these are the gorilla arms that you get from your very first ripper dock there at the beginning so you just need to save up for those and if you need ways to make money i've got ways to make money videos on the channel and there's just a ton of ways to do it so get you some money and get you the gorilla arms and also if you can afford it and you want to make the fight easier on yourself the reinforced tendon so that you have the double jump now i have a currently have a bunch of clothing on that gives me all kinds of bonuses and stuff i'm going to strip all of this off so that i can sh show you that you don't need any of this special stuff to beat him he's really easy to beat okay so i'm not even wearing a full set of clothes i'm just covering up my naughty bits right now and i have hardly any armor on this i only have high armor shirts so you know i got a little bit of armor about 173 um, but that's nothing. He's, he hits like a truck. He's going to one shot me if he hits me, but luckily he's never going to hit me. So you come over here, you talk to this guy. Now, when you first get here, I've already done this fight once. So you're going to have a different setup here. When you get here, he's going to be arguing with his pregnant girlfriend. She's around here somewhere. And, uh, you get to ask him about the car and I have that option. Now I can ask him about the car. When you ask him about the car, he's going to give you a spiel about it, but then you can ask him to bet the car and then so he'll bet the car and then you bet the four grand and if you beat him you also get the car so i've already done it and if you lose you come back to him and talk to him again it just says this because i lost my first match ever with him so you come back and you just it just says this but if you win you'll still get the car make sure you ask him about the car first and then you can start the fight okay here we go so once you start the match hopefully all the children get out of the way you can dodge him like that and then just start beating on him. And I like to do, try to do the charge up attack. So once again, just dodge him and then hit him with the charged attack. Like so. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you at the beginning. I got nine whole points in body. I've got nothing, no perks for street brawler. So I got nothing boosting my damage. This is just damage from what you see here with just the nine points that I have in there. Um, I'm level 33. Other than that, I don't have anything else. That's my armor that I'm wearing boosting it. All of that damage just comes from the gorilla gauntlets here or gorilla arms, whatever they're called, that you get right there from your beginning dock. Now, if you have the legs, I'll show you how much easier this is. So see how you can just jump over him? That kid in the way is really messing with me. So you just jump over him and then immediately start hitting him again. And then you want to back off. He's good. Wait for him to charge. He does the same thing every time. He does that charge up and then if you watch, he punches. I'll try to slow it down to show you. Hold on. Let me get in a good position here. So here we go. And then you can see that's it. He does that every time. Now he has one other move he'll do where he'll do a combo and he'll come running at you. This here, I think is it? No. Um, he may or may not do it. He does like a bunch of quick punches and then like a kick or something and then like keeps moving towards you. Um, if you do that, just sprint or if he does that, just sprint. You just sprint away from him. You can sprint away from him really easy. So there you go. And then just punch him and that's pretty much it. This is how you beat the fight. That kid is really messing me up here. 
All right, so then we're going to go in, hit him, hit him, hit him again. Wait for him to come at us. Do a jump. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face again. All right, so now we're going to back up a little bit here. Give him some space. Jump over him. Punch him in the face. And I like the heavy attacks because they stagger him every time you do it. And then we're just going to wait again. Jump over him. This is it. This is the fight. And as you can see, um, apparently we've got him bleeding too. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back off here. Because as long as I keep distance, he'll keep doing that and not his other move. All right, once again, back up. And you can, as you saw there, you can do it with a dodge too. Um, it's just a little sketchy because the AI literally floats around and follows you. So I, I prefer to run and put more distance because if you just put a little bit of a distance, the AI, he does like this weird like punchy floaty th i don't know how to describe it you, you just got to see it in slow motion okay so now at this point you can say thanks for the new ride keep the eddies i want the car cars all i want um give me the cash but the car you keep now you keep the car and the money so whatever you want um obviously you want the car i like to tell him to keep the eddies and i'll just take the car because it's a car for four grand so you know and it's a nice car look at it look at that honking bad boy where you can just take it all and keep it for free. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, super simple, easy fight. You just need to be able to do the damage and you can't do that with just your bare fist if you don't have a lot into body and you're not into the you know whole boxing tree there in Street Brawler with all of these perks. All you need is the gorilla arms. That's it. The ones you get right there from the beginning dock, those work just fine. They do absolutely massive amounts of damage and make the fight super easy. And then you just watch out for his combo and watch his patterns. Okay, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload other awesome cyberpunk guides. I don't only do cyberpunk. I upload guides for all kinds of video games and you never know when I'm going to upload a guide for a game that you're playing. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my League Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.